morning. Uh, I'm Tad Schuchter, I'm the chief engineer uh, of the Corvette. I've uh, been working on Corvettes for 20 years and uh, never been prouder than uh, now bringing out uh, this new Stingray. Uh, we have a lot of advanced technology uh, in the car. When we touch on a couple of technologies that we put in, uh, the driver mode selector, uh, the reconfigurable displays, our uh, patented higher temperature sensing system, our electronic limited slip differential, or ELSD, and then active rev matching. The driver mode selector, if you look in a lot of new cars, there's so many different controls uh, for different subsystems of the car uh, that gets to be fairly uh, elaborate to set up the vehicle uh, the way you want. Uh, people have rows of buttons switching uh, things on and off. We wanted to try to make this car, even though it's extremely sophisticated, make it very easy to use. So we created a one large button on the center console. You can grab it blind, uh, and you turn it left to be more conservative, right to be less conservative, and you walk through modes from weather to eco, which maximizes fuel economy, tour, sport, and track. And it optimizes all the subsystems uh, of the car around the specific driving uh, mode. Now, if you want to go in and customize it, you can through menus in the center stack. Uh, but to start, you know, for customers and people just getting used to the car, uh, we've selected um, up to 12 different uh, features, and depending on how the vehicle is equipped, it can control up to 12 different things, from the ELSD to the steering, the sound of the exhaust, the ride quality, uh, the access, the availability of track-oriented uh, performance, uh, even the cluster uh, appearance will change to optimize to uh, the particular mode you've selected. So I invite you as you go out and drive the car today, make sure you experience the, the different modes. I mentioned the reconfigurable display. Uh, we have two high definition screens uh, in every car, that's standard equipment, an eight inch screen in the center stack, another eight inch screen in the cluster. And you have uh, three basic uh, appearances, a tour mode that emphasizes the kind of information that you'd want on a long distance trip where you're just relaxing. Then we have kind of a traditional hard gauge uh, sport mode. Uh, you can see that theme in the middle. It's got little pocket gauges that are customizable there and more performance oriented uh, information. And then we have a mode that was patterned right after our C6 uh, race car. Uh, so it's uh, a, a, a we'll call a hockey stick tack that really emphasizes the high RPM uh, portion of the, the rev range since on the track that's where you spend most of your time and uh, bar graph uh, information on uh, the vehicle condition. Like I said, you can, that'll be tied into the vehicle mode, or if you find that you like one particular one, you can lock that in and it loads it that way, and then the drive mode select affects the other things, but you've got your standard uh, cluster the way you like it. I mentioned the tire temperature system. Uh, this is a system that actually, you've got a tire pressure monitor uh, in the, each wheel, uh, so you can read your tire pressures at any point. There's also a thermocouple uh, in there. So when you start the car, you basically know if the car's been soaking, you know what the temperature is locally. The problem with that thermocouple is if you start putting energy into the tires, the tires get hot and you don't necessarily raise the temperature of that thermocouple very fast. So what we do is we have an algorithm that starts with the thermocouple reading and then adjusts it, gives it a delta based on what you're doing with the vehicle. So we can predict whether the tires are still cold, whether they've warmed them up, put some energy into them, or whether they're flogging the car on a track, and so they're likely to be hot. The reason why that's important is that all the chassis controls depend on the knowledge of the friction between the road and the tire to perform their functions. If you know the tires are hot, you can be much more aggressive with ABS, traction control. You can use the, that knowledge to optimize those systems. If you have no knowledge about how hot the tires are, you have to just be conservative and assume uh, less grip than might be available. So uh, without this system, we might have left a, a meter of stopping distance, uh, 60 to zero on the table, uh, because we didn't know what the tire condition was.